Hey guys, Steve here from Without Code. Today let's look at contact forms. Now if you're coming from Muse, you know that contact forms in Muse were terrible to work with. They were really limited. You didn't have things like drop downs or file uploads and half the time your form submissions never made it into your email. So not a very good experience. Let me show you how easy it is to build a powerful contact form right in the architect interface. So I'm here on the contact page and if I go over to the widgets panel, I'm going to drag out a contact form and let's just drop it right into this blank row. I'll move the panel out of the way so we can see a little better. So now that our form is here, it's pre-populated with a couple of fields and we can go ahead and use this panel in the content section or design section to add whatever we need. So these items at the top represent the fields. You can drag and drop them and reorder them or if you click into each field, it gives you options. So we could change the field label. We could turn the label on and off by clicking this eye icon. Next, we've got field type. Let's open that up. We've got drop downs, radio buttons, even a file attachment for file uploads. So tons of options in here. We can change the placeholder text or we could set this to be a required field. If I move this out of the way so we can see it a little better, you can also change the field size so you can see it's pushing the other fields down to the next row. Let me just reset that so they fit nicely. Okay, so let's go ahead and maybe modify the phone option. And I'm going to call this job title, just like that. We'll change it to a drop down, and I'm going to set my options. So the first option is going to be designer. Next option will go developer. And third will go illustrator. Okay, so we've set up our drop down, and I can close out of that. Below the form options, we have the ability to change the submit button message. We can add a recapture form. So that works there. Or we can turn off and on the form title. So if I click the icon there, it turns off the title. Since I have the title up here, I don't really need that one on the form. On the next page, we have submission options. So we can add our email as the submission recipient with a form subject or a subject line for the email. We can add some submission actions. So what do we want to do once this user submits the form? We could show them a message or we could redirect them to a different page upon form submission. Lastly, there's a tracking option for you to place custom conversion code just in case you're tracking metrics around form submissions. The next tab is really cool, the integration tab. So in case you don't want your form just to go to your email, you could actually set it up out of the box to go to Google Sheets by just signing in and setting up a sheet. You could send submissions to MailChimp to build a mailing list, same with constant contact, or there's even a custom webhooks option if you have a separate system that accepts a unique webhook. So as you can see, by default, we have 10 times the options that we had in Muse. I'm also going to go back to my form items, and I'm going to add a new field here. Let's put it just above the message field, and I'm going to change it to be a file attachment. So I'll move this so that we can see it. It says new field, upload file. I'm going to delete that label or hide that label. So it's just a simple little text button. And I'll close that, and I'll preview. So when I preview the site, if I click on the upload file button, it doesn't just bring up a standard OS level file upload field. It actually brings up a really nice one that gives us the ability to drag and drop files in from our computer or to import files from Dropbox, Google Drive, or Gmail. So pretty advanced functionality for a file upload. Next let's look at some style options. So if I go back to the editor and I click on the form again, if we go into the design tab and I'll move this over so we can see. We've got a couple of pre-styled layouts so we could do kind of an outline vertically stacked one or a few options down below. Below that we can change the alignment and then we just work through the individual drop downs. So this is for fields, so changing the background color of the fields. We could make them maybe light gray. As you see, you have a recent color palette here above in the picker. We could also change the border width. We can change our button. So this is the submit button down here. See, I'm changing the size, or I could make it kind of a full width button like that. Okay, we can also add a background color or image to the full form frame itself. And we've got more design options. Basically, it keeps going and going. Even your submission message can be styled with whatever font or color settings you need. So that's it. You can see how awesome and easy it is to work with a contact form. If I preview this and I look at it on my tablet view, it works right out of the box. We've got our drop down field, looks great. Upload file, working great. And if I have a look at this on mobile, absolutely perfect with minimal effort. Hope you enjoyed watching how easy it is to set up a form in Architect. Thanks again.